Good evening, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Want to be nosy? Shall we be nosy? Holy Spirit, can you please give us a message about Divine Masculine tonight? Can I get a message about Divine Masculine, Holy Spirit? Alright, let's see what's going on, y'all, shall we? Let's find out what's going on. Can you please protect us? Watch over me as I channel these energies. Hold spirit. Get a message about what's going on with Divine Master. Somebody's beginning to be healed. The mind is beginning to be healed. What else? Spirit. Joy and stability. Spirit is speaking to somebody's mind. Talk to me about Divine Masculine Holy Spirit. Thank you so very much. Sacral chakra, y'all. I cannot make it up. Sacral chakra. These are brand new cards I've never used before. Oh, what else? Spirit. Somebody's got a blockage in their sacral chakra or something. Huh. Somebody's watching to see if they're going to win or lose. Somebody's watching to see if you're going to win or lose. What else? Or maybe Spirit's saying you need to watch to see if, if somebody's going to win or lose. There's a battle going on. Can I please get another card, Spirit? A good, strong answer. Thank you so very much. Control. Control. Win or lose, observe and control. What about control, Spirit? This is about Divine Masculine. What about control? Somebody's got beautiful blue eyes and blonde hair. Somebody has brown hair. Somebody's decided to take control of a situation to rebuild it. Win or lose, they're watching. To see if this is a good situation or not. Somebody, somebody's observing a situation to see if it's going to be true. Spirit, what's going on here? Talk to me, baby. Why is Psycho Chalker here, Spirit? Why is Psycho Chakra here for Divine Masculine? The High Priestess came out. But this has something to do with hidden knowledge. And somebody's hiding and watching. Somebody's watching. Somebody's watching somebody else and observing them. Clarify the High Priestess, please. Sacral chakra is clarified by this hidden knowledge. The hermit, this is Virgo, very strongly. Damn. Somebody's being sneaky as fuck. The high priestess, the hermit, and the seven of swords. 
Wow. And then the magician. Somebody wants to rebuild and be in control. Spirit, talk to me about what's going on here with this. What's going on here, Spirit? Somebody has an addiction. What about addiction? Balance, passion, interference, and vulnerability. Somebody has an addiction that's messing with their balance. It's pissing them off. It's interfering in their life and it's making them vulnerable. And they're keeping it secret. Why is win or lose here? The lovers, temperance, and two of cups. Somebody's making a choice to be self-controlled because of this divine relationship. Why is the observed here? Because of the star and the king of wands. Let me see what's going on here. I've never used these cards before. They're brand new. And I want to know exactly what Spirit's saying. Number five. Win or lose, disagreement, ego, detached love. Often in matters of the heart, people find themselves in disagreement set against one another in a battle of wills. Ego takes the place of intellect, greed overtakes generosity. The love in the relationship is forgotten in the desire to win. But where there is a winner, there's also a loser. The partners are no longer equal and the relationship can falter or completely break down. At this time, be cautious about letting your ego trick you into acting in your own self-intent, especially at someone else's expense. So, somebody's had a fight. Somebody's had a fight. Divine Masculine has had a fight. And a new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be revealed to you. Be still and observant. Now is not the time to take action. Instead, take a step back and wait. Reflect upon the relationship or issue. What is really happening? Release the need or desire to direct the relationship and simply go with the course of events. When you surrender to the experience, you'll learn a great deal and ultimately get what you truly need. Sometimes it's in releasing that we discover what we really need. 
So, there's been an argument, there's been a fight about this sexuality or this, whatever this creativity is, there's been a fight. Divine Masculine is having a fight. And it has to do with an addiction. Probably been spending too much money. Got pissed off. Somebody got pissed off. And it looks like they might have somebody else. This interference is making it vulnerable. So Divine Masculine has had a fight about this addiction. And now Divine Masculine is looking at this situation to decide what to do. Okay, control number eight. <clears throat> control. In order to flourish, relationships must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotional neediness or insecurity. It's important to master your emotions so that they do not rule the relationship. A partnership based solely on emotion is out of balance and out of control. Self-control is the key here. Act from a combination of emotional and intellectual and your relationship will thrive and grow. Be sure that your influence is gentle and loving, that it now is not the time for domination. So, somebody's trying to have control over their emotions. And then number 16, rebuild. Huh. The dynamics of a relationship can often be complicated. The longer you've been in a relationship, the more complex it can be. Relationships begin to grow many layers, consisting of joys, sorrows, honesty, and duplicity. As these layers build up top of each other, it becomes increasingly difficult to know which, what the core of the relationship is based on. What was once love may appear to be merely tolerance or worse. Even in good relationships, you may find yourself growing apart from each other. In either case, the weight of the layers can cause a relationship to collapse. So, there's been a fight. And somebody is trying to control their emotions. Because... Or maybe they've lost control of their emotions so that this relationship will end, it looks like to me. And then we have the High Priestess, the Hermit, and the Seven of Swords. So somebody felt jaded. Somebody felt like somebody had done them wrong. And it had something to do with this addiction. Now, over here, somebody is trying to choose self-control about this. And here, control again, control again. Alright. And then we have hope for the King of Wands just breathe. So Divine Masculine's had a fight. Who has Divine Masculine been fighting with? There's the fight. The King of Pentacles, the Magician, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Why did they manifest a fight spirit? I think somebody started a fight on purpose. To end this relationship. That's what it looks like. Did Divine Masculine start this on purpose, Spirit? The Eight of Swords. Let's find out. Did Divine Masculine start this on purpose? Take action. Reconsider. And remain positive. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a yes. I think Divine Masculine started this on purpose so he could be out of this relationship. <sighs> because a Divine Masculine felt imprisoned. Why does he want out of this relationship spirit? Justice. Justice. To be fair. To be balanced. Fair to who? Who's he trying to be fair to? Who is Divine Masculine trying to be fair to? Oh my God, y'all. I cannot make this up. Divine Masculine started a fight to end a karmic relationship so he could be fair to his empress. Wow. I've never seen anything like this. He got mad. Okay. And now he's all in his feelings. Alright, what might be the outcome of this fight Divine Masculine had? Why is judgment in reverse? Why is judgment in reverse? <laughs> because of the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Because of unconditional love. He used this judgment because of his unconditional love and he wanted his independence. He wanted to be free from this relationship. The tower. Why is the tower here? Oh, baby. The emperor, the queen of cups, death, and the two of wands. Because this this divine masculine is in love with this woman. <laughs> and he knows that this woman loves him. And he wanted to transform this. So why is he at a crossroads? He's not. He's happy. <laughs> he made his crossroads so he could be happy. And in this old relationship, Divine Masculine has had a fight and ended this relationship for this Empress. And that's just what's happened. Show me the outcome of this relationship. Somebody seeking. Seeking what? To listen to spirit. What is spirit telling this person? That this is simply love. Spread your wings and move. Love abounds. Wow, y'all, this is amazing. Talk to me about this Divine Masculine Spirit. What's going on with Divine Masculine? Why did Divine Masculine cry in the spring? Divine Masculine was crying in the spring. Huh. Because of this creativity. 
he was watching somebody and Spirit is guiding this. This is Spirit led. Spirit led this into this situation. Talk to me about this other person. This summer. What about this summer? Couldn't stop thinking about this. Talk to me about this current partner. Had big dreams. What about these big dreams? They took action and what about taking action on big dreams? I think this is divine masculine here. Understanding what? Understanding what? This is Divine Masculine taking action on these big dreams and understanding. Understanding what, Spirit? That they had to release themselves from this. It was about money. This whole thing was about money. And he said, I'm done. I'm done with you because it's always about the money. And it might have been a soulmate. Talk to me about Divine Feminine. There was a barrier. Clarify this barrier. The barrier was that Divine Masculine needed to return. And I guess Divine Masculine realized that the answer would be yes if they returned. Anything else, Spirit? Somebody's refocusing on their self-worth instead of being a victim. And they're going to start something new. I cannot make this up. Show me what this relationship's going to look like. Who was having the addiction? The wheel came out. Destined opportunity. Clarify the wheel. Balance. And the Ten of Cups. This relationship is going to be more equal. This is somebody making a decision to have a lot of happiness. And equal give and take. Why is this addiction here? Why is this addiction here? Divine Masculine is charging ahead. The addiction is here. Because somebody's hung up on this and they won't stop. What might be the outcome? Hmm. Indecision. What's going on with Divine Feminine? <clears throat> there she is, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine had mind games. And temptation going on, but she's starting something new. Who was doing the mind games, Spirit? What about it? Temperance. Damn. Tranquility ahead, restoration, and happiness. But who was doing these mind games? Maybe she was just playing. Are they over, Spirit? Somebody's moving towards this woman they love. I think the mind games were that she didn't realize how much this man cared about her. Were the mind games about how much she was unaware? How about how much this man cared? Is that what the mind games were about?
the mind games were about not the right time and making her wait constantly putting off making a decision about this relationship but it's finally happened for somebody all right spirit can i get one of these Can I get an oracle card for this message, please? What oracle card would you give me for this message, Holy Spirit? Thank you so very much. I got care and beauty. The beauty of a friendship creates an energy that is seen in a person full of love, expressing your highest nature with another who is equally engaged rings bells of joy for all to hear what can you do to heal the turmoil in the world become a true friend create your friendship bundle and hang it around your neck like a great bird of prey feel yourself softening in a westerly wind knowing the grace of dreams realized people are known by the stories they tell. Your stories are constructs of the people you have met along your journey. Ultimately, the grandest and most beautiful is the story of meeting and sharing the journey with a kind, kindred spirit and true friend. <coughs> Care. Wrap an indivi indivisible cloak of love around you and share your kind words with all. Take care in the world that in the words that you speak and choose, for they build your body and your life form. Feel the gentle wind that works your word of love to shape your life into beauty. All cultures and faiths speak of angels, messengers, guides, spirits, all subservient to the Creator. These voices are heard in your thoughts, but manifest most profoundly in your heart. So, Divine Masculine has started a fight on purpose to end a relationship so that he could have a new beginning with this Empress. I, I didn't expect this message, but here we are. Congratulations, I suppose. I'm sorry for whoever lost here, but it is what it is. Can you show me which sign, which, what's the sun sign of this Divine Masculine Spirit? Leo, the sun sign is Leo. What's the sun sign of this divine feminine? Virgo. Leo and Virgo. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this message. Have a wonderful night. Oh, let me get you a pencil. I have an arrow that says love. I have a huge elephant, another huge elephant, a heart, an owl, a crescent moon with a star, an EKG heart, a peace sign, a turtle, a horseshoe with a ladybug, an angel, and a deer. I have a hand, a world, a metal headgear, a feather, a tower, a cash sign, a um, tiger's eye, the love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever, and I have my cool ass spirit wearing that bandana. Alright, you guys have a wonderful night, okay? Bye.